Some of the major developments we're tracking, soaring new milestones in confirmed coronavirus cases around the world, the global total now crossing the 19 million mark for the first time, with the death toll here in the United States now above 160,000 as more than one and a half million Americans recover. With us leading us off here this afternoon, ABC chief medical correspondent, Dr. Jen Ashton. Dr. Jen, with those types of headlines, it's no wonder so many of us are struggling, not just physically, but psychologically. Right. We even heard from former First Lady Michelle Obama saying that she is in a form of low-grade depression. Let's talk about mental health during this pandemic. Do we know where we stand? Well, definitely we're looking at it, Amy, and it is so important, as you said, to not only focus on the physical and things that you can see, but the psychological as well. So take a look at some of these numbers. According to a U.S. Census Bureau report, now more than one in three Americans are reporting anxiety and depression symptoms. Compare that to one in 10 at roughly this time last year. A study done in the U.K. found an increase in mental distress, again, year to date, versus one year ago that was published in the Lancet and particularly vulnerable according to that report women teenagers those with preschool aged children seeing the highest rates of anxiety and depression wow. this is common right and and I had always understood stress comes from trying to change something or control something that can't be changed. That's yeah. literally the situation we're in right now. So what's recommended for people who are struggling? Well, I think mental health professionals wanna get this message out. There are steps that we can all take at home regardless of how we're doing. Number one, this is something that we are all facing. So recognize we are not alone here. Trying to stick to a regular schedule or, or routine when all of that has been disrupted is also helpful. Getting physical activity or some form of exercise for the body also helps the mind and then things like meditation very very important for the spirit you want to try to avoid self medication however with things like drugs and alcohol which is really important and lastly if you are struggling ask for help whether that's a virtual app in-person support group. There is no stigma here, no shame in this game, and help is available. Yeah, no, those are wonderful tips. And the number one, I think, is to really realize you are not alone. 100%. We are all in this together. Yeah. All right, Dr. Jen, thank you, you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.